Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Lachlan. If you're new here, you should totally consider subscribing because why not? Today I'm doing a video that I have put off for a very, very long time. We're doing my bookshelf tour. I'm so excited. I have been putting this off for quite a bit because I wanted my bookshelves to be a certain way. But then as weeks and weeks were going by, I was just like, what do you mean you want them to be a certain way? That's stupid. Like, they're just books. Show people the books. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you my books and we're gonna talk about them. I have a lot of books, so I don't know, like, I'm not gonna go through each individual book, but it'll still be a really fun time. So I hope you stick around and enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna go, um, we're gonna start here and then make our way this way. And then we're gonna go down and then make our way this way. So let's start right there. So on this shelf, I have some books that I haven't read. I have not read any Brandon Sanderson books, but I'm really looking forward to reading them. I also have some um, graphic novels. I have my Edward Scissorhands graphic novels. I don't have the whole collection, but these are just the ones that I do have. I have The Fall of Cthulhu right there. I still have not read that. I have a really pretty edition of Middle Earth Traveler. This book is so pretty. It has a lot of illustrations and it's just a really beautiful book. And then we have this beautiful copy of The Princess Bride, which I still haven't read, but I got this because <laughs> Um, I thought it would encourage me to read it and I will read it one day for sure. And I have Fairy and the Folk Tales of Ireland. This is just a really cute little um, special edition. And then I have The Hobbit, which I don't know why it's not with the other Lord of the Rings books. This is just where I have it. It's very out of place. And then we have this edition of uh, The Lies of Loch Lamora. And then we have The Picture of Dorian Gray, Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights. I have um, random Stephen King books. I've read Salem Slot, Carrie. I have not read The Shining yet. I still need to read that. So then moving over, I have my Shadowhunter shelf and I love the Shadowhunter world. Um, I have all of the Immortal Instruments and then the Infernal Devices, which I also have in hardback because I'm anticipating a Touch of Magic Designs doing uh, dust jacket artwork. So I have the hardcovers for that. And then I have my Dark Artifices in the Last Hours, which I'm really excited to get to, Red Scrolls, and The Lost Book of the White. And this one, I believe, yeah, so it has the alternative dust jacket. So that's really cute. I love that. I still need to read Queen of Air and Darkness and these two. So I will do that at some point. Um, I really liked these books. I just need to read this one. And then coming this way, this is one of my favorite shelves. This is kind of like my dark romance slash indie romance shelf. So I have the Zodiac Academy. Um, I still need to read Faded Throne and Curse Fates and Shadow Princess, but hopefully I'll do that soon. Um, I have Agathicana, which, oh my gosh, I love that book. The Dare by Harley LaRue. Colty by Mariana Zapata. A Diary of Blood, that book is amazing. Neon Gods, I will probably unhaul this book at some point. It wasn't my favorite, but I did love the fake dating aspect in that book. So yeah, I still kind of recommend it because a lot of people love it. So if you like fake dating and if you like Persephone and Hades retellings, definitely read it. Rhapsodic, that book was really good. It's like a fantasy romance kind of thing. Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue. That book is amazing. I have a full review on it. The Guild by Raven Kennedy. I won this in a giveaway. I still haven't read it, but I'm really looking forward to it. And then I have all of my LJ Shen books. This is the Sinners of Saint series. It's so good if you like bully romance. And then we have the All Saints High. And then we have uh, Bright Side by Kim Holden, which I haven't read yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. And then we have the Maid series by Daniel Laurie. This series is amazing. If you like mafia romance or if you're curious about that genre, if you like dark romance, definitely check this out. So then moving over, we have my 
um, contemporary romance slash rom-com shelf. So here we just have um, the Addicted series, which I have two copies of Hot House Flower. I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I actually ended up with two copies. It is one of my favorites from the series. So yeah, we have the Callaway Sisters series and then we have the Addicted series, which I love this series so much. It's amazing. We have Heartstopper, which I still need to read. It's a graphic novel. I'm really looking forward to reading that. And then we have A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Love Hypothesis. This was five out of five stars for me. Archer's Voice, also five out of five stars. This book is amazing. Highly recommend it. Oh my god, I love it. It's so good. I have this little fairy thing that I got from Renaissance Festival. It just has a pair of earrings in there. Uh, these are actually diamond earrings that my husband got me when we were dating. Um, I have them in there. I don't know why. <laughs> Super cute. Then we just have uh, People We Meet on Vacation, The Bromance Book Club, Beach Read, and The Hating Game. I'm really looking forward to the movie. So then we have one of my favorite shelves. This is my Sarah J. Mass shelf. Um, we have Crescent City, which I just did a reread, and I have a whole uh, video on this, so if you want to check that out, I absolutely adore that book. We have my bookish candles, Paris Quinlan and Hunt Athelar, and these smell really, really good, but I haven't burned them because they're too pretty to burn. And then we have the Akatar series, Beauty and the Beast. Um, my friend Alex got these for me for, I think, my birthday one year. I have a recent candle that smells like amber, devotion, and plum. It smells really good. And then we have my Thunder Glass series, which is my all-time favorite series. And then a Terrison candle. This candle honestly smells amazing, but I haven't burned it because it's so small and I'm like scared to, to burn it. And then we have a Manon candle. And it smells so, so good. I haven't burned it yet. I think when I reread Throne of Glass, I'll probably burn it. And then I have this mug that my husband got me. I think it's from Etsy. It just has all the female characters and I freaking love this mug. But yeah, this is one of my favorite shelves. She is a beaut. So then moving over, we have this shelf, which is mostly just classics. Um, I have this metal rose, which is from the Renaissance Festival. It actually has like a scent to it. Um, I don't know how they do that. I think they like spray it with something, but I've had it for like three or four years and it still smells really good. This is a can opener from the, inspired by the Starless Sea. I think this came in like a fairy loot box or something. And then we just have all my classic editions, my pretty editions. Um, yeah. I think my favorite from the shelf hmm, would either have to be this one through the looking glass. I love this edition. I just love purple. Um, I also really love this King Author edition. It's and then the Cthulhu Mythos Tales is a really, really gorgeous book. But I absolutely adore my Edgar Allan Poe and classic horror stories. I think these were like the first two classics that I got and my husband got them for me for Christmas a couple years back and I, yeah, I just absolutely love them. I do have some books that are like falling apart here. So the, this book, um, it's pretty old, but it's the Alice in Wonderland. It's just kind of an old edition and I love it. This book, which I haven't read, but um, I found it somewhere. Like I was thrifting and I came across it and had to get it because I just thought it was really cute. The Call of the Wild, which is one of my all time favorite books. Um, I love that book. This is actually like um, a stationary kit. I really need to use this little notebook, it's really cute. But yeah, it just has um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer like cards and quotes and stuff. So if you want a letter written to you, let me know and I can write you one because that'd be kind of cool. Octonumi, which I still need to read that. This book is absolutely stunning. I got it because it was stunning. So I think uh, I'll read it at some point. Lord of the Rings, 
Um, I actually have more copies of Lord of the Rings, but this is the first copy I ever got. I just, I really need to finish the series. Outlander. This is my classic shelf. We love it. So then moving over, we have this shelf. This is a bit of a random shelf. As you can see, we have lots of different genres on this one. We have the Vampire Academy, and then we have the Miles High Club series by T.L. Swan. I adore T.L. Swan. Like, the series is amazing. Go read it, especially if you like romance books. And then we have McCauleen's. Um, one of these is a signed edition. One of these is the edition that I read. I got it wet in the pool because it was my first Colleen Hoover book that I read, and I didn't treat it very nice, so. I got another edition and it is signed. And then Confess, um, I really like that one. I think I gave it four to five stars. November 9 isn't my favorite, but it's still really good. It ends with us. I don't even want to talk about it. That book is so sad. Verity, which was really, really good. I haven't read Without Merit. I haven't read Layla. Heartbones, five out of five stars, my all-time favorite. Ugly Love was my all-time favorite until I read Heartbones. And then we have um, the Off Campus series and the Briar U. I think I have just the first book of the Briar U. Um, but the deal was five out of five stars, so I just need to, to finish that series. Um, I don't have all the books, as you can see, but I do have those. The Orange series, I have the complete collections. Amazing. Highly recommend. It's just such a beautiful story. The Cinder Chronicles? I don't even know what the series is called. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I need to read this series. Uh, I haven't read it. Moving over, we have one of my favorite shelves, which it's kind of also very chaotic. The genres are all mixed up. But we have My Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas. Really love this series. Through Six Venom, Birthday Girl, God tier romance book. That is God tier. Punk 57, God tier. Bully, Credence, Misconduct. Um, then we have the Raven Hood series, Dominique's Candle. It smells like rainy days, sea salt, and sacrifices. And Tobias, it smells like spice citrus, leather, and secrets. Lauren Lust, I still haven't read those. Um, but they're like a vampire series and the covers are stunning. I have a small collection of Goosebumps and then these are the rest of my Lord of the Rings books. The Seven Havismans of Evelyn Hugo, Cersei, and one of my favorite books ever, which is The Song of Achilles. The shelf, which is mostly just fantasy. I haven't read um, Children of Blood and Blood yet, but I really um, want to. The covers are stunning. Um, Shadows Between Us, I really like this book. If you haven't gotten into fantasy, this is a good place to start because it's a very like easy read. Carball series, one of my all-time favorite series. I love this series. I love Stephanie Garber's writing so much. I also have Once Upon a Broken Heart. It's not on my shelves yet though because my shelves are full and I just, um, I have two cop- well, I have three copies because the Fairy Loot edition, but, uh, yeah, I love that book too. The Cruel Prince, which is one of my favorite series ever. I adore this series so much. Uh, How the King of Elfheim Learned His Stories is such a beautiful book. It's just filled with like illustrations and stuff and I love the story of it. Strange the Dreamer, which is also another all-time favorite um, series of mine. It's a duology and it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. The Invisible Life of Agatha Rue. I love this book. I I think I gave it four and a half stars. It's just, it's a really beautiful book. I have this mug, it says, I appear to have misplaced the books you think I give. And it's a quote from Nevernight. So then I have my Nevernight series, which is again, one of my all time favorite series. Blood Leaf, which I haven't read. But every other book on the shelf I have read. That's the only one I haven't read. Well, I, actually, Except for Children of Blood and Bone, I need, I need to read that. So then moving over to this shelf. This is another like very chaotic shelf. Prior to the Orange Tree, this is an epic fantasy. Oh my god, it's so good. It's sapphic and it's just really beautiful and there are talking dragons. So if you haven't read it, go read it. The Song of Achilles, this is my second copy. I just wanted the hardback because I thought it was really pretty, so. Ace of Spades. This book is amazing. Go read it. It's a young adult thriller and it's so good. Year of the Witching. So good. It's very witchy. Wings of Ebony. This book takes place in Houston. It's signed. I love this book. This book made me cry like a baby. Gilded Wolves, which I haven't read yet. 
but I've heard really good things. This series, I don't know if this is a duology or a series, but I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. The Gray Hendrix Southern Book Lab's Guide to Slaying Vampires. This is an all-time favorite book of mine. Um, Ember in the Ashes, I haven't read that yet. This is a fairy loot of Six Crimson Cranes. It's a really beautiful Firekeeper's Daughter. I, I still need to read that. Legendborn, that's a good book. And then Least Violent Lights, I haven't read yet. I actually haven't read this series. Um, the one in the corner here, I have not read that. So then moving over, we have another kind of um, shelf that's not really organized by genre. Well, it kind of is, but not really. Gentleman Bone, just all my Lee Bardugo books. Well, this is actually not all of my Lee Bardugo. This is just the hardbacks. Six of Crows, one of my all-time favorites. This poppy candle. It smells like honeydew and violence, and it smells really good. This pumpkin that goes on top of it. And then this vodka I bought that reminded me of the Christopher's because it said Nikolai on it. So I just put that there. So Jonathan Strange and Mr. Neural, I haven't read this yet. It's very intimidating because it's so thick, but I'm going to read it one day. And then we have one of my all-time favorite series, which is From Blood and Ash, and the spin-off, well, prequel series. And then the candles that I have are dark one. And this one smells like forest, dark secrets, and poisonous kiss. So I have not burned that yet. I haven't pretty much burned any of my canvas candles. And then I have the wicked kiss that smells like citrus, sparkling snow, and desire. This candle that smells like the blood forest. It smells amazing. So it's like black cedar wood, amber, and forbidden moments. I will probably burn that one day because it literally smells so good. And I have another blood forest candle. It smells amazing. Up there. And then I have this candle, which I made this candle. Um, I just think it's super cool and super goth. It's supposed to be like blood dripping down, you know? And then moving over, this is also not really organized by anything other than just like aesthetic. I don't know. I haven't read these two. I haven't read this Clown in the Cornfield. This is supposed to be a nice spooky young adult thriller. Uh, Fable and Namesake. Love this duology. It's amazing. Not my problem. This is a sapphic school setting book. That's pretty much all I know and that's why I bought it. House of Hollow. This is a gorgeous book. The Darker Shade of Magic series. I need to read so bad. I need to read it. Oh my god. All my V.E. Schwabs. The Aurora Cycle. I love this series even though I'm not like Big on sci-fi. Gilded ones. And then we have just like some other random ones. And coming down this shelf, um, this was the first book that I was ever sent by an author. The front below, it's kind of like a young adult dystopian and it was really good, but I never read the second one. I still need to. Most of these books I haven't read except for Serpent and Dove. I did not like that book. It wasn't for me. I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. I haven't read these. I've read this. It's an unpopular opinion. I did not like this book really. Cemetery Boys. This is basically a rom-com. It was really cute. Shiver or the Crawdad scene. The book Thief. It used to be my all-time favorite book. Malibu Rising. I haven't read that. And then the people we keep. Next to that is this shelf. This is kind of like my vampire shelf. This is the House of Night series. I think I'm missing a few, but I do own all of them. I just don't know where they are. I have this vampire series. I haven't read it yet, but it's like super old school. And I, I own it, a random Edgar Allan Poe. We have my Twilight series, and then these random books up here. I have this little skull thing, and then the Crave series, absolutely adore. And then this is, this goes with those other books that I showed you, these ones up here a super old vampire series. So then moving over, this is mostly like young adult. We have the Lux series by Jennifer Armentrout. This one's actually signed for whatever reason. I have two burning shadows. I have the soft cover and the hardback. I don't know why. And then we have the first one, the Wicked series, the White Hot Kiss. I haven't read these. I have another fairy. This is also from the Renaissance Festival. It used to light up, but it doesn't light up anymore. I don't know. I need to like fix it. Follow it. Just some like older YA. Uh, a Touch of Darkness, Winter People. That's a really good, that's like the first thriller I think I ever read. Shadowhunter Codex, 
Shot on Bone series, Not My Favorite series, Dark Shores, and Sea Witch Rising. This book kind of annoys me. I got it personalized. Like, I paid money for it, and then she spelled my name wrong. So I didn't love that. Um, you know, I'm like, really? That's kind of shitty, but whatever. These are some special editions. These are mostly like Owl Crate, I think. Um, I don't have my Owl Crate subscription anymore. This is my uh, Illumicrate edition of Ace of Spades. Um, yeah, I have two copies of this book because I'm obsessed with it. So if you haven't read it, go read it. This little thing, I actually keep my bookmarks in here. Well, <laughs> It's like got a bunch of stickers, but also bookmarks and stuff. Um, I want to do a bookmark collection video, I think. So let me know if you're interested in that. And I can do one of those. Paranasi is one of my all-time favorite books. That is so good. The main character has, am it's like an amnesia kind of thing. Discovery of Witches. I'm probably going to unhaul this series. It makes me really sad that I didn't like the first one. Like, I'm really sad about it. I don't want to talk about it. Just a couple mangas. Maya and Wudakoi. Bone Houses, that book is so good. House of Salt and Stars, I haven't read. I have not read this, I haven't read this. I've read this, I really liked it. And then we just have this special edition of Vampire Academy. J.R. Ward, I still haven't read this. I bought this whenever I was like on a paranormal romance kick and I need to read it. Um, I also need to read these over here in the corner. Uh, now we're going towards the very bottom of my shelf. This is where like books go to die, essentially. I have all of my uh, Anne Rice books. Well, this is not all of my Anne Rice books. I have a lot more Anne Rice books than this. They're just like spread throughout my house. This series, before I was in the book community, I was into mass market paperbacks. I would buy all of them and now I don't really like them. I don't know why that is. Like. Something about the book community just made me, just turned me into a book snob. And now I like turn my nose down to mass market paper books. That's kind of sad. Cause there's still books, you know? Anyway, okay. So then I have all these like random books. These are just like not as cool, I guess. Withering Heights, Water for Elephants, like Great Terrible Beauty, Bird Song, like just some old books. Percy, some of the Percy Jackson. I don't know why I don't have all of those books. More books that I need to read. Um, actually, I read this. This is the Goth Bible. Someone got me that as a gift. Yeah, just like some other odds and ends books. Everyone loves the series. I need to try it again because I DNF'd it. Don't hate me. This is a book my coworker let me borrow. Lovely Bones. I haven't read it yet. I don't know why I have this copy of Breaking Dawn. Like, I don't. I, it's so random. I have Killers, another Anne Rice, and then. These are my prized possessions. These are my extra copies of Throne of Glass and Assassin's Blade. Were the ones that I read years ago and then I became obsessed. And then I bought all of the series. So in hardback. And I just have like this little thing with a lighter and some matches. This is from Renaissance Festival, I believe, from a long time ago. And then these Halloween candles that I don't put, have batteries in so they don't light up, but they look cute. And down here is where more books go to die. Um, honestly, most of these books I'll probably end up unhauling, except for Corella. I'm not getting rid of that. I adore that movie. It was so good. I want to see it again. I saw it in theaters with my husband and then we immediately went to Barnes & Noble to look because I wanted to look for the book because I was like, there has to be a book and there was and it was meant to be because look how gorgeous. Oh, I really, really, I'm late to the game, but I need to read this series. I know I'm really late because it's like an old one, but yeah, I need to read that. Um, just like some random books. Let me know if you see anything on the shelf that I really need to read. Um, I think people have told me to read this series. I don't know anything about, like most of these books I don't know anything about other than like this one which is like a sci-fi and it's not even the first one in the series. It's the third one. So I'm like, I don't know why I have that. Oh, and then we have Mistborn. So I have a, I have a lot of Brandon Sanderson books and I've never even read his stuff. I don't know what that is about. Kristen Hanna. So then going over here. Now this is the true like before book community kind of books. These are the books that I, I would read. So like Wolf Nation, 
I really love that book. It's a book about wolves. <laughs> it's really like sad though. And it, honestly, I love wolves. And if you're into like animals and you love animals, read that book. It is um, nonfiction, but it's just, oh gosh, it's so eye-opening when it comes to wolves. I have Walden by Henry David Thoreau. That is, I used to call him my like, he was my book husband before um, <clears throat> before I, I actually read like legitimate book boyfriends. His philosophy is a little bit weird, but I just really like his books. I used to like go camping a lot and I used to love reading Henry David Thoreau. Creative writing book here. This book um, was really expensive. It was $35 and it talks about creative writing and I've read it and it was really good. I one day plan on writing my own book, but not in this time in my life. I'm not in the headspace, if that makes sense. That probably does not make sense, but I basically know what I want to write about. I just have to um, get in the headspace and I have to, you know, figure out some stuff. Before I do that. Maybe one day I will have a published book out there. These are just some self-help books. I, at one point in my life, I was really, really, really into Dave Ramsey. Um, now I think he's kind of loco. Um, I, <laughs> I think he's a nice guy. I just think like his ideologies don't line up with mine, but Total Money Makeover changed my life. Like I, when I say it changed my life, I really mean it really, like it honestly did. This is his daughter's book, Love Your Life, Not Theirs. Um, Chris Hogan, Everyday Millionaires. It's basically like my um, saving and being frugal shelf. Another Henry David Thoreau. This is the first copy of Call of the Wild that I ever had. I love that book. Um, Less, this is just like a minimalism. I went through a minimalism phase a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a phase. Um, we have Sun and Her Flowers. I actually never read this book, but I just thought it was pretty. Entering the Maze, just like some random books. The Life Changing Tiny, uh, Magic of Tiny Up. Yeah, I, I definitely went through a phase. And then House Moving Castle is, <laughs> is down here because it matched. I love this book. This is such a good book. But yeah, it's just down there because it just like matched the other books. This random uh, thing here, a scroll. And then over in this corner are books that I'm gonna unhaul. Whenever I wanna get rid of a book, I put it on top of that. I'll eventually have an unhaul video for you guys. Now that we finished going through all of those, I'll just quickly show you. I have three sets of this series. I don't need three sets. This is just like my pretty set. And yeah, I don't support the author, but that series means a lot to me. So I just have them up there. I just have some random like Funko Pops. Up here are all of my bookish candles. Oh my gosh, I have so many. Mr. Kindly. Uh, this is based off Burn of Glass here. Another recent Cassian. Poppy Hawk West, Vampire Trash, that one smells really good, uh, just one more chapter, Dark Romance, Fantasy, yeah. That's where my uh, second set of Sarah J Mass books are. I actually have dust jackets I need to put on that series. So I have these dust jackets, I have the Empire of the Vampire one, but these that's what my second set of Akatar books are for. I just haven't put them on yet. Because I basically had to flatten them out. They're really, really pretty. So yeah, those dust jackets will eventually go on those books. This is in a separate room. I have my Empire of the Vampire books. Um, I need to make room for them on my bookshelf. So they're in here for now. This is where I keep my second and third copy of Harry Potter. I really do not need three copies of that series, but. Um, oh, I guess I'll show you guys my 
um, my wall art prints. I really love this wall. This is in my reading room. This is where I read. I'm gonna have this Nightmare Before Christmas calendar. But yeah, these are all of my bookish art prints. And then on this store I have more. <laughs> So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and if you made it this far you can leave some book emojis don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel i come out with new bookish content on a weekly basis let's be book besties if you want to follow me on social media i have a, a bookstagram locks library so you can follow me there i hope you have enjoyed this video i've had a lot of fun making it and i'll see you guys later with another video so on this shelf i have some books that i <clears throat> Some Keep and Seeing books here. This is one of my favorite shelves. Shit. And then we have, oh gosh, it bothers me that they're not even.